For as big and bad as Satan and the Antichrist will appear to be for a while, for as much damage as they will do to those who have rejected Jesus Christ, with as much persecution as they will bring on those who come to salvation, not to belittle any of that, I want to remind you of the ultimate end, right? Apostle Paul in 2 Thessalonians 2.8 said this, Then the lawless one, the Antichrist, will be revealed, whom the Lord Jesus will kill with the breath of his mouth and destroy or bring to nothing just by the appearance of his coming. Can you imagine? Jesus is going to bring the Antichrist to nothing. How? Is it going to be a wrestling match? Is he going to beat him up? Are we going to... Look, Jesus is just going to appear. And, and in his presence, Antichrist will simply, effectively, all of his power will just melt away. It's just the brightness and the glory of the coming of Jesus Christ. But I love this line. The Lord Jesus will kill him with the breath of his mouth. I often joke around, but I, but I kind of mean it. You know, I could just picture it this way. So, so evil and big and bad and monstrous and ferocious is the Antichrist to humans who are helpless against him. But when Jesus appears, how will he take him down? You ready for this? <sighs> One breath. One breath and he's gone. Praise God. What an ending. 